Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are finally taking a look at Series 31 for Spin Master Monster Jam in 2023. I know this video is late. Trust me, I've seen every single comment. I just have not received them until now. It took Spin Master a little while to get these from the warehouse to my house and now I have them for review. I did do some previews of this series with Monster Mutt Golden and Crush Cycle which you're seeing on screen right now. Uh, those videos are already out. We'll briefly touch upon them during this review video but the rest of the series is here and we're gonna focus on the other seven trucks mainly in this video besides the two that we've already reviewed. So for our assortment breakdown, welcome to series 31. We have the chase piece of this set, which is quite an elusive character, I must say. Uh, no one has found this in stores in the United States yet. It is currently, for the time being, available on monsterjamsuperstore.com. Uh, it will probably be found in stores at some point, but for now, it's very similar to the Blue Thunder Ride Truck, which is the most expensive Spin Master Chase piece yet, uh, and it's just hard to find. So if you want to pick one up, if this video is accurate to the time, uh, it is still available on monsterjamsuperstore.com to pick it up. There is a chance it will... Uh, become a rare chase piece in that sense that it just doesn't make it to stores, which is unlikely. But uh, Wasabi Warrior is the really difficult to find chase piece of the year. There's usually one that is hard to find, and this is the one for this year. Uh, thankfully, they sent me a chase piece set. So we have Wasabi Warrior here today, a really awesome looking Monster Feast food truck chase piece. Again, we talked about Golden recently, and we'll touch upon it again in this video, but there's Golden in the package, Monster Mutt Golden. The Crush Cycle also, again, reviewed already on my channel as a preview, and we'll talk about it again in a moment, but there it is for the Sermon Breakdown. We have Calavera from the Nitro Neon series. I'm sorry, the Hyperfield series, not Nitro Neon. Hyperfield series, so Calavera returns in 164 scale. We have the Steel Reveal Alien Invasion. Jurassic Attack in the Legacy Trucks, I believe. Yes, oh, I'm sorry, the Arena Favorites. I am just all over the place today. Uh, arena favorites. I'm late on the review and late to figure out what series these are in. I know this one is phased out. This is Pirate's Curse from the phased out series. We have the Boneyard Trucks returning yet again with another zombie. This time it's the normal body once again uh, with the Boneyard Trucks roll cage and chassis setup. And finally, I'm going to guess, and I might be wrong, this is Legacy Trucks Megalodon. Let me see. Yes, this one's Legacy Trucks Megalodon. So Megalodon gets another release in 164 scale in the Legacy Trucks. Today, we're not going to start with Megalodon like I usually would. We're actually going to start with the ones we've already reviewed. So let's talk about the Golden Retriever, Monster Mike Golden, and Crush Cycle. We're going to do them together because we have previewed them already a while back now. And here they are coming into frame. We have the Golden Retriever, and the brand new Monster Jam truck, which is a garbage truck, the Crush Cycle. So like I said, I previewed these two. If you want to watch an in-depth review and unboxing of them, I will link those in the description below separately so you can watch them and see all the details up close. We will talk about the details, but not as much as I did then. So let's start with Golden. This is the Monster Mutt for this year, the brand new Monster Mutt release. Uh, it has new ear casting, as I talked about with the ears down, uh, very similar to Monster Mutt Dalmatian, which they'll likely use this same ear casting next year uh, in 2024 for Dalmatian's ears down edition. It does have a new tail casting for the Monster Mutt Golden for their Retriever style. Uh, the color is a really nice color with a dark gray and blue color tone to it. The tag with the Monster Mutt Golden logo, uh, Monster Mutt Golden on the side panel. And of course, the tennis ball in the mouth on the left side with its BKTs, gold rims, gold chassis, and a black roll cage and BKT printed tires. So a quick review of Golden. Like I said, not going into too much detail with it, but there it is, a brand new truck for 2023. And one of my favorite trucks of the year and of all time by Spin Master is the garbage truck by Monster Jam, the first Monster Jam truck specific garbage truck. And it has the Earthshaker cab here, Crush Cycle, with the back plastic piece here for the compactor bed. So there is a crush cycle, a quick view of it. Again, I did a preview of it and unboxed it in a separate video, links in the description. So those are the first two trucks of this assortment of the seven that we have left to talk about. We're gonna go on to continue with the Megalodon. So here is Megalodon from Legacy Trucks. Let's unbox it. So this one's nothing too special. It is just another normal Megalodon release. Uh, there are no graphics changes, the same body, uh, black roll cage with a gray chassis, dark navy blue rims with black tires and BKT printing over that. 
for the Legacy Truck effect. Uh, so Megalodon returning in 164 scale, just another release of Megalodon for the Megalodon fans. And there it is in series 31. And another returning truck, the Purple Jurassic Attack. It's a very popular one with Spin Master. Uh, I'm hoping we'll see a normal new release of it for the new design that we've seen on the tours recently. But for now, we're stuck with the uh, fantasy style Jurassic Attack Purple. So let's unbox this new one. I won't snub this truck completely because there's actually an update that I really wanted them to do and they finally have implemented, which is actually getting these horns and the beak of the Triceratops to match in color, which is this dark almond color. And uh, I really enjoy the fact that they finally, after it's been five years now since the first Jurassic Tech was released, that they finally match the colors. Uh, besides that, it is the classic purple body that we've seen before. This truck in real life was actually only a ride truck. Uh, the purple body never ran on a competition body, but uh, they do continue to use it for some reason. I don't know why they love this one so much, but they do use it a lot. Uh, it has a black roll cage, a gray chassis, darker navy blue rims than the Megalodon had, and BKT printing over black tires for this release of Jurassic Attack Purple. So like I said, I hope they will do the modern day robo body uh, on here at some point. But for now, we have another release of the Jurassic Attack Purple Edition in Series 31 for 2023. And next up is the Boneyard Trucks Zombie. Let's open it up. And this package is giving me the worst uh, opening ever. So let's just keep going with it. There we go. All right, Zombie Boneyard Trucks. Another quick review of this just because uh, it is nothing crazy special. Uh, it is just the classic zombie body with fairly clear graphics. I'll give it that. Uh, it has the Boneyard Trucks roll cage in a kind of light gray slash white color. It's not fully white. It's also not fully gray uh, with the Boneyard Trucks casting for the roll cage, a black chassis, black rims, and slightly different colored tires for the zombie. So there is Zombie. And next up is Calavera from the Hyperfueled series. Let's open it up. All right, so Calavera, another really cool truck. I really enjoy Calavera a lot. Uh, this is a really fitting color theme for this truck for Hyperfueled. Obviously, Hyperfueled typically uses a solid color for the entire chassis, tires, rims, roll cage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the entire scheme is one color, and this time it is hot pink, and it's bright, it's loud, it is really, really fitting to Calavera, and it has, like I said, everything in hot pink, and then we have the classic Calavera body, which I hope one day will make an appearance in real life. I think, like Blue Thunder, a pickup truck style uh, truck should exist at all times, and I think Calavera would be one of the best to bring into the field, um, not retire Blue Thunder, but maybe for a while replace it uh, on the tour on whatever tour it would be on. And I think it would be a big hit, especially in South America shows. It would be a really cool thing to see this truck compete in real life. So there is Calavera in Hyperfueled for Series 31. Another quick review, just because it is the same body, but with a new chassis and rims and tires. And next up is Phased Out Pirate's Curse. Let's open it up. And here it is. My sword here is super bent. Oh, it's also really rubbery. Uh, so here's Pirate's Curse, the Phased Out. Um, also with this one, nothing too different from the classic Pirate's Curse. Phased Out really wasn't the best series. I will just say that straight up. I, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. Uh, Earthshaker still is the best and Pirate's Curse isn't very different. I mean, the face is a little different, but realistically, no one's going to notice that this Pirate's Curse is different from the classic one. Um, so there's that. But besides that, it has a silver roll cage, a copper color for the chassis. Uh, we have a silver front left rim with a red front left tire, a black left rear tire with a mustard colored rim in there. We have on this front side here, a silver tire and a silver rim for the right front. And the right rear has a black tire and a silver rim. So there is Pirate's Curse phased out. This one really quick review, just nothing to really talk about with this one. And next up is Steel Reveal Alien Invasion. Let's open it up. Okay, Alien Invasion. What else can be said besides it's one of the most fitting trucks for the Steel Reveal theme since it is pretty much just a silver body uh, when it ran in real life and in the diecast forms. Um, it does have the graphics that make the metal look like it's scratched up. So they did add that effect to it. Um, besides that, it is another Alien Invasion. Nothing too different about it from the original releases. It has a white roll cage, a neon green chassis, neon green rims, and black tires. The neon green rims are accurate to the real life truck. That's actually really cool. Um, besides that, there it is. The Alien Invasion phased out. 
This series is going by fast. I know I realize that I'm going through it really quickly. It's just one of the series every year we get one where it's not that exciting. So this series is quick because it's uh, pretty repetitive in, in terms of what's being released. Uh, so there's Alien Invasion for the steel reveal. Next up and the final truck of the set is our chase piece. And this is actually going to be a big talking point because it is uh, a new truck at least in this set. Uh, one of the three new trucks. So here it is, the Wasabi Warrior, the elusive hard to find chase piece from series 31. Let's unbox it, the last truck of series 31. And I've been waiting a long time to see this truck in real life. I am a big fan of this one. I must say it had my vote for the top food truck of the year until I received series 33 with its food truck, the Grease Trap. That is my favorite and that'll be revealed at a later date in a later series 33 review. But Wasabi Warrior takes second place easily for me this year. I love sushi. I love the theme of this truck and how they did this classic Japanese style artwork for the truck graphics. I think it's just fabulously done. Uh, I love the sushi rolls on fire. I love the logo. Very simple but effective. Uh, the tailgate here has some more sushi rolls with fire going around the cloud and the smoke. The art style though is really ancient Japanese uh, art style like you see in museums. I love the fact that they were able to replicate that for this truck. We have some skewers with sushi rolls coming down the top, some more flames everywhere. We have a fish here with the flaming sushis. Uh, I'm realizing this, these are actually supposed to be wheels, I'm assuming, because the tires and the wheels are actually sushi rolls as well. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, the front grill here fully painted, the Wasabi Warrior logo there. The cloud texture continues down. We have all the details of the food trucks that we've seen with the headlights and, and such on there. The spoiler is a baby blue color. And now let's check out the menu board, which is everyone's favorite part because there's usually a pun or two included. And here's our menu board. We have the Slammin' Salmon Roll for $8 and the dra the Dragonoid Roll for $9. That one's good. Dragonoid Roll. Spin Master had to name drop Dragonoid in here somewhere. And there it is. Dragonoid Roll, $9 with the cloud texture and another flaming sushi. Uh, there's that. It has a pale salmon colored roll cage, which is fitting to the salmon theme and a wasabi colored chassis, which is the pale green color. And then we have seaweed colored tires with white walls acting as the rice and the sushi in the middle for salmon colored rims. These are the best tires of all of the food trucks. I know we had the donut tires with the glaze machine, but the sushi roll tires take the cake fully. This is the best tire choice and wheel setup for the food trucks by far. And if the grease trap wasn't my favorite, this would be taking the top spot. The Wasabi Warrior is justifiably so a great looking truck, hard to find currently. And I think everyone should go try pick one up on the Superstore before they're gone. But I would highly recommend getting this if you're not collecting all of them. This is definitely well worth it. Uh, I just love the details they've included into this truck. It's really, really fun and cool. And that will conclude series 31 for this review. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for the patience, everyone. I know you guys have been looking forward to this review. So have I, to be very honest with you. I really wanted to see this truck and others. Um, so there it is, Series 31. Series 32 is right around the corner as well. And there is some awesome trucks in that assortment. And of course, everyone is looking forward to seeing the reveal of this Grave Digger the Legend. I'm not gonna reveal it fully, although I have on my Instagram, but YouTube, you have to wait. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And until that next video, this is Ryan Ramon's GMOCD signing out.